Now, when an earthquake strikes, seconds of warning can actually save lives. 10 News reporter Amanda Brandeis got an exclusive look at the earthquake sensor network being built, which will one day trigger the alert we heard today, but for real. We traveled to a remote location in Orange County to see one of these sensors. The hope is they'll warn us of an earthquake seconds before the shaking arrives. Never thought I'd be doing this, but here I am. It's not uncommon for a job to take this small team of engineers off roading or hiking miles to their destination. American Girl Mine out by Yuma, Glamis, there's sites out, out that way. Okay. Referred to as seismic cowboys by some. We do see rattlesnakes. They're building the Shake Alert Network. Clip that and I'll run it along here. Made up of hundreds of earthquake sensors across Southern California. Eventually, we would like to have something like an Amber Alert. Uh, where you would get a text message and it says, hey, shaking is about to occur in your area within a few seconds. Alex Cadio is a USGS field engineer working alongside his Caltech partners. The more sensors we have, the better the data, the greater the coverage that we have and the better the quality. The sensors work by detecting the initial, less destructive waves of an earthquake, alerting people that shaking is coming and to take cover. Seconds of warning can be critical for surgeons in the operating room, halting trains or shutting off gas lines. That can all be automated and tied to the early warning systems. Sensors are strategically placed about 10 kilometers from each other. We just want a, a grid across, across the whole state. Engineers are dropping this sensor six feet underground in Casper Wilderness Park. It'll stream real-time seismic data back to the Caltech lab. So all these sensors need to be facing true north. Uh, we have a machine that tells us uh, where that is. There are 45 sensors throughout San Diego County, and dozens more are planned for the rest of Southern California. But it's a long process. Yeah, you, you don't build a network like this overnight. Permits for the site can take years, and the team is at the mercy of Mother Nature. We have had some sites where they're built on top of a sinkhole. We don't know it. But the team's dedication is unwavering, always keeping in mind why the long hours are worthwhile. I get a lot of gratification uh, knowing that one day this will help save a lot of lives. Amanda Brandeis, 10 News. Now the engineers say it will likely be a few more years until all of Southern California will get shake alert warnings on their cell phones. It's being tested in small groups, but they want to make sure that technology is reliable before making it available to everyone.